Hey guys, we're coming to you from Manila, Philippines today. Many men have contacted us lately asking how much it costs to date a Filipino woman while they're living in the Philippines. It greatly depends on where you're living at. In Manila, the cost of living in the Philippines is much higher than living in Cebu or even in Baguio City. Quezon City and Makati have a cost of living that's very similar to Manila. Many expats have retired in the Philippines and their source of income is limited. They can get more bang for their buck by living outside of Manila. While you can find deals on small apartments in Manila for about $200 a month, you can also find apartments between $500 and $1,000 per month. You can always find an apartment or home that will be somewhat affordable in comparison to your income. As far as the costs involved in dating Filipino girls, today we'll discuss the different types of relationships and all their associated costs. The first thing to remember is that it's risky to have a long-distance online relationship with a Filipino girlfriend. You can send her money each month, but you don't know how faithful she's going to be to you. She can tell you all the sweetest things in the world and make you think she truly loves you, but she could be deceiving you and collecting money from other men that she's chatting with at the same time. It's really easy to fall in love with a woman who's constantly telling you that you're special to her and that she loves you very much, but it could just all be an act. If you absolutely feel the need to have a long-distance relationship with a Filipino lady, use good judgment and analyze everything she says and does with caution. Look for all the red flags associated with scammers like asking for help with money to care for sick relatives, schooling, and other things like that. In the Philippines, living with a dedicated girlfriend is an experience that is more than just companionship. It's a commitment that can drag you into a common practice of shouldering. It's a term that signifies the act of supporting your girlfriend's extended family. This isn't just a financial gesture. It's a personal integration to your girlfriend's life and her family. When you're budgeting for two people, you're not just budgeting for meals and having fun. You have to consider the cost of living that includes rent, transportation, and the occasional luxuries that all people need in life. But beyond that, you're looking at the possibility of supporting her family, which is expected of Western men based on Filipino culture. Some of the things expected of a man could be medical expenses, supporting a brother or sister's education, or helping out with the upkeep of her family's home if it needs repairs. It's a mix of financial responsibility and emotional bonds. You could become a meal ticket for a family and your role can easily evolve from a boyfriend to an ATM machine. For those guys who prefer the middle ground between casual dating and a committed relationship, what's known as renting a girlfriend is a common practice in the Philippines. It's a term that might sound transactional, but at its core it's about companionship and mutual respect. The arrangement between the man and the woman is pretty much straightforward. For an agreed upon monthly fee, which can range anywhere between $200 to $1,400 a month, you can have a woman who will be with you anytime you need her companionship. The cost of this arrangement can depend on how much money you want to spend and how attractive you want your girl to be. This cost includes the everyday experiences that normal couples share from watching sunsets together, going on day trips, and sharing passionate moments together. It's actually a partnership that is beneficial to both people, offering the joys of a relationship without living in a serious, long-term relationship. I'd like to ask you guys to do me a big favor by hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel for more of our videos. Liking and subscribing really helps us out, and I really appreciate your support. Also, if any of you guys out there have experience dating Filipino women or you've got some great stories you'd like to share, please let us know in the comments section. Now we move on to bar girls. Many men prefer meeting and dating bar girls. This is common for men who have retired in the Philippines and they don't really want to spend all their time or money with a woman. When they feel the need to be with a woman, They'll go out to various bars and look for attractive Filipino women to spend an evening of fun together with. For those guys who enjoy the company of different bar girls, each night is a new adventure. With each girl you get a fresh conversation and a new friendly face. For this type of experience, men will usually spend between $40 to $80 for a few hours of enjoyment or about $100 to $140 for an entire evening together. 
But there's more of this than just the company of the woman. There's also the bar fine. This is a fee that compensates the bar owner for the time that the girl has been taken away from her usual duties at the bar. The amount you pay depends on how popular and how attractive the girl is. Each girl you meet will have her own story and dreams that she's going to want to share with you, and the time that you share with each lady can really be an experience. Many men like this type of arrangement because they find it exciting and adventurous. Some guys may only do this once or twice a month to satisfy their need for companionship. Others might get hooked on this kind of adventure, and they'll end up blowing all their money and they'll need to return back to their home country because they went broke. Freelancers are a huge part of the Philippines' nightlife, especially in Manila and Angeles City. These girls are independent, self-managed, and they have a free spirit that can make them really fun and exciting. They set their own prices and the cost of their company is always negotiable. While the cost might be very similar to that of bar girls, being with a freelancer can often be more intimate and more personal. Encounters with freelancers are not bound by the rules of the bar. The time you spend together with these ladies is based on the type of arrangement you both agree upon. They expect to spend about $60 to $100 a night for this type of companionship. And just remember, there's all kinds of different freelancers out there. There's some that don't charge a whole lot, and there's some that, you know, they charge quite a bit. It just depends on the quality of the lady that you're looking to spend time with. Those guys who have a taste for the finer things in life, professional escorts in the Philippines offers a level of fun and adventure that goes beyond the usual. These women are the kind who could be your arm candy at high society events, they can engage in stimulating conversation, and being in their presence is just as rewarding as it is on a physical level. The cost for such high-end companionship can range between $70 to $160 for a few hours together, but there'll be additional costs if you both want to be alone for some special time together. These women cater to those men who seek not just a date, but a companion who can charm all the people that they're needing to impress like a future employer or a business partner. As far as beauty goes, these women are top-notch. There are many options available when it comes to dating women in the Philippines. From the deep commitment of living with a dedicated girlfriend to the thrills of the nightlife scene in Manila, Makati, or Cebu, each relationship type offers its own unique set of experiences and costs. Whether you're seeking love, companionship, or a one-night adventure, Understanding all these different opportunities can make your life in the Philippines much more enjoyable. It's a balance between your needs and your wallet. Being in a relationship with any woman in any country has its costs, but there's an affordable way to find happiness with a part-time companion or with being in a long-term relationship with a woman from the Philippines. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today, and I hope you can do me a big favor by hitting the like button. It really helps promote this channel so other people can find us. Also, please subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you can be alerted when our next video is released. And again, if you guys have some great stories to share out there with everyone, please be sure to leave your comments in the comment section. Thanks guys for watching today, and I look forward to seeing you again on our next video.